A Novena to Saints Louis and Zelé Martin Fifth Day Charity I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. So you also should love one another. John chapter 13 verse 34 The Martins were conscious of their duties to their neighbor and the simplicity of their life made them attentive to the needs of others. Celine said, If frugality prevailed in our home, then lavishness ruled when it came to helping the poor. We went to meet them, we searched them out, we urged them to come home with us, where their needs were satisfied. They were given food and clothes and encouraged to do what is right. I can still see my mother bustling around a poor old man, I was seven years old back then, but I remember it as if it were yesterday. We were walking in the countryside when, on the road, we met an old man who appeared destitute. Mother sent Therese to give him some alms. He seemed so grateful that she entered into conversation with him. Then my mother told him to follow us, and we returned home. She prepared a good dinner for him. He was starving, and she gave him clothes and a pair of shoes and she invited him to come back to us whenever he needed anything. If one of her workers fell ill, St. Zelie would visit her on Sunday, happy to provide her with anything she needed. She treated her maid the same way. It happened that she spent three weeks, night and day, at the bedside of Louise, who had a very severe attack of articular rheumatism and whom she did not wish to send to the hospital. And when St. Louis, for his part, knows that, in the neighborhood, there are ill people whose conversion is urgent, we witness his eagerness in visiting them and in asking the whole family to pray that the sick person might decide to receive the last rites. My mother does her best to help him in this apostolate. Resolution Today I will do something good for somebody. By a smile, a telephone call, a visit, or by giving alms. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saints Louis and Zelie, you, who in your life as a couple and as parents, have given witness of an exemplary Christian life in putting God in the first place through the exercise of the duties of your state in life and the practice of the virtues of the gospel, we turn to you. Help us to have unshakable confidence in God and to surrender ourselves to his will, as you did in the joys, but also in the trials, the sorrows, and the sufferings with which your life was marked. Help us to love God with all our heart, to persevere in our daily difficulties, and to dwell in the joy and hope that will give us a living faith in Christ. Intercede for us, so that we may obtain the graces we need today and all the days of our life. Amen. Saints Louis and Zelie, pray for us. Amen.